Hey, welcome to Scars and Cars. Hi, it's Forrest Hamlet Brown, and we have another great episode of Scars and Cars. Check this out, 2023 Corvette C8, and it's just not a regular old Corvette. Now, it is a Z51 performance package, but here is the coolest part of it. Come on, get in here, I gotta show you this. This is a 70th anniversary. Yep, can you believe that? This Corvette has been around for 70 years, and Chevy said, you know what? We're gonna have a little party, and the party is gonna be the 70th anniversary Corvette. So let me show you a little bit about this, but before we do that, I wanna tell you, we got a really special guest today, really special to my heart. It's my sister-in-law, and I know I've had a couple of family members that I've featured, but she is really special. And unfortunately, she got diagnosed with uh, cancer. She's had cancer, it's come back, and uh, it, it's, uh, it's just not good. Cancer sucks. Everybody knows that, everybody hates cancer. Uh, I've been affected, a lot of family members, friends, coworkers, just acquaintances have died of cancer uh, or have had cancer, and it's just a, a bad, bad thing. But I just wanted to uh, uh, say that I might get a little emotional, uh, this, this time around, is, is, uh, some of these have been pretty emotional uh, in the past, so I, I hope I can keep it together. Uh, but we're going to talk about this car, because this car is amazing. These things are awesome. C8 Corvette, you know what makes them really special? I think everybody knows, but if you don't, mid-engine. Corvette just said, you know what? We're tired of having the engine up front, let's put it in the back. So what do they have up front? Let's check it out. This is called the frunk. You can store stuff right in here. Take a look at this. I get this out. A little storage space there where the engine used to be. Now, get ready. You may lose that coming up on the E road that's coming out. Uh, I haven't found a good way to put that down other than doing that. So, 70th anniversary car has special badging. The satin matrix stripes on it, which you don't really do it justice. Just wait till we get this car outside and you can see it. It's amazing. Uh, check out these wheels. These wheels have the little red pinstripe around. You have the edge red calipers. We saw the 70th anniversary badging before, but this is something that's really cool. Only in an anniversary Corvette. Can you get this white interior? It has the red seat belts and the red piping. Just amazing. 70th anniversary badges all around. This color, the color on this is a pearl white, exclusive only on a 70th anniversary Corvette. Now, here is where we have a lot of magic. Check this out, mid-engine, 495 horsepower. Yeah, this thing, the power to weight ratio is just incredible. This thing screams. Not that I would ever exceed the speed limit. <laughs> Check out the awesome look at the back here. I love these stripes. They're kind of like they call them like a ghost stripe almost comes right through. Here's another thing that's that's just available recently on these Corvettes. Black exhaust tips. Very cool. You might say, hey, you know what? It's really hard to see out of the back window of this. You know what? This is a camera. So the camera is right there. So that shows up in the rear view mirror. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go take this thing for a ride. Let's go.
Okay, we're ready to go take this thing for a drive, but before we do that, I want you to see the reaction of my sister-in-law. She has not seen this car in person, and I told you a little bit earlier, she has cancer. So this is on her bucket list, is to actually go for a ride, but I'm gonna make her drive it just to see what she thinks of it. You know, I, she's kind of unemotional at times, but I think she's gonna get really excited when she sees this thing. So let's go get her, let's bring her in. I know you're not gonna let me. Oh, it's there. Beautiful. Uh, so pretty. There it is. I told you I'd cry. <laughs> That's so pretty. So this is the 70th anniversary. 70, yeah. And they only made it in black and then that silver. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this is where I belong. <laughs> Definitely. It's just so different, the windshield and... Okay, she's doing it. She's driving it. Wow, you can't even see the hood or nothing. It's just like, that is just so awesome. Have you ever driven a have you ever driven a Corvette before? No, I have not. No, I have not. This is a first. The first. You've Very seen first. you've I seen know. many. I've seen many, yes, but not actually driven one. And it just drives just like it's oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we're getting out on the highway now, so Tammy can really you can tell what you see what how got. much power this Excellent. thing has. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it didn't well, take long. I'll just time say she took it pretty easy on oh. it. Yeah, I think they're capable of a little bit more than that, yeah. but yeah, I don't know how comfortable you feel about it. I know, I'm right. just a little It's a really super sweet car, so of course my heart is just fluttering right now. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, this is that's just great. really nice. There, is that a little oh, that better? Was she got that into a little it. Better? She got into it there. Whoa. I mean, I can put my foot in it. It's just that I got to be able to keep control of it. Yeah. You know, when I get. And it rides, you know, for the road being so rough, it yeah, rides nice. Yeah. And I love the steering wheel. Tina's like, do you like that square yeah. steering wheel? And I said, that's racing. You have to have a, yeah. that steering wheel. And if you're, you know, if you're a really good driver, you'd be able to use the paddles and really feel like a race car. And I love, I love how the seat, everything is just right where you need it. Do you like the suede on the steering wheel too? I do. I do like that feeling. I, I, yeah, I've never seen suede on the door. It's just, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. It's just, it's just amazing. It is amazing. An amazing car. We're pulling back in here. We are. That was really awesome. Really awesome. Chevrolet did an excellent job redoing this Corvette. Wow. All right, well, hey, we just pulled back in and had a little fun with this C8 Corvette. It's pretty awesome. What do you think? It is awesome. It is, that's all I can say is awesome. It's like <laughs> the best it. car ever. It is fun. Yeah, and yeah. It's fast. Maybe you need to do the sales uh, video for this so that we can sell more of these Corvettes, right, Tammy? I mean, feel this. This is just, oh, Bose radio. I mean, it's just immaculate. Yeah. The seat is made for me. I just feel just... You, you don't want to get out, do you? in capsule in this greatness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm a Chevy fan. I've always been a Corvette fan, so... Yeah, you, this you is said, the ultimate. How, have you been, you've been to the Corvette Museum? Twice. You've been there twice already? Yes. 40th anniversary was the last time, so it's been a long time. Yeah, so now we're at the 70th anniversary. You must have went there when you were like five. I, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right? <laughs> I actually got to get in on the line, and I got to start it up and turn the lights on for the first time. I actually got really? to get into the car, and yeah, it was a really good experience. Now, the, were those cars, were they burgundy? Yes. Yeah, that's because I think yeah. we, had, we had two of those uh, anniversary cars. Yeah. All right, well, Tammy, we're going to do our interview. I think there's no better spot to do it than right here. No, right? there is no better spot. Yeah. Yeah, well, this, this interview, this is going to be uh, uh, one that... 
I might not do a very good job on this. I'm just giving our viewers a little heads up on that because, you know, you mean so much to, to me and our family. Uh, it's, uh, it's, we're, we're just thinking about you and uh, what's going on with you right now. So if we can talk about that for a minute, uh, do you want to just kind of share what you got, what you got going on? I had um, endometrial cancer in 2017 and it came back now. And it's into my liver and my spleen is one big tumor. So they call it endometrial cancer because that's where they're, where it originally started. But it's in my liver now. So if it was considered liver cancer, it'd be like stage four. So I'm in advanced stage of cancer. And I just started chemo treatments. I would go for my second one on May 2nd. So I'm just getting started in my hair. I'm starting to lose it a little bit, starting to shed. And I'm just at the beginning stages of treatment now. So, yeah, well, uh, it's a lot, but I'm handling it. The treatments, I had some side effects, but I'm doing, I actually feel better now once I've got some nauseous medicines um, figured out. I actually feel better now than I had the last couple months. Yeah, well, it's just one treatment so far. So, well, that's good. We're yeah, hoping. We're, we're, we got a, we are, uh, Got a positive outlook, yes, right? Yes, very yeah. positive. Right. I just hope, you know, that it slows it down or, you know, shrinks it, you know, to give me more time is pretty much what I'm looking for, so. Yeah, so now. More time with my family. You're right. Yeah, full, <laughs> full disclosure here, Tammy is my wife, Tina's sister. Yes. And uh, she's also my, my kid's aunt, and uh, no offense to uh, their other aunts, but you might take the, the top seat <laughs> uh, being their favorite. Yeah, that's because I'm kind of goofy. And, fun. <laughs> and you spoil them. I'm goofy. You, yeah, you spoil I do spoil them, yeah. yes. Yeah, they, they uh, don't need it, but and they And I'm sure their godmother, it. too, so that gives me extra. Yeah, yeah, she's the godmother, spoil them. godmother of extra all of our reasons. kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so do you remember um, when, when you first met me? Oh, my. That was... Long time 20, ago. Yeah, twenty some years ago. I th I'm thinking it might have been at was which Richardson. There was oh. a wedding. Um, and it was just it was I remember it was two two of o two. I think that might have been one of the first times that I met you. Yeah, that would have been twenty one years ago. Yeah, yeah, just a few years ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> time flies, though. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean you always been part of the family yeah so. yeah and we we uh you and i we get along pretty good we have our differences <laughs> only when it comes to professional football and college football well that too yes and the reason why we're sitting in this beautiful gem is because of me because i am the chevy chevrolet spokesperson of the family <laughs> and you are the well hey i i i gotta be kind of neutral i mean you're not I, I neutral was, i was born in uh, a ford family ford yes but, and i've been chevy but we uh you know we sell fords yeah we sell chevys yes. and we sell uh chrysler dodge ram jeep products so I, I kind of like them all, as long yeah. as there's something that I sell. I pick up one of the, the best, but this is the one that, that you like the most. So yes. let's talk about you for a little bit. Uh, you, you know, you're married to, or excuse me, you're, you're married to, to Scott. Yes. Uh, when did you guys uh, first meet each 1984, other? 1984, I was a sophomore. Well, actually I was a freshman in school. When, when I you, met when him, met Scott. but we didn't start dating until I was a sophomore. Yeah, so, so did, that's a long time. Did he pursue you, or did you pursue him? He did me. He went to a Halloween dance, paid a whole dollar to get in, <laughs> to ask me to go out. He didn't dance, yeah. and he would have never went. But yeah, he paid a whole dollar. I was worth it. <laughs> and that was before we I... went driving around for what was it we put like 100 miles on his old station wagon you know <laughs> what did he what did he have for old car? oldsmobile it yeah. had that was it 350 rocket I yeah mean, it would it was a big car and it would put your your head right back in the seat when he punched it it was yeah what what kind of car did you have oh my first car yeah a 
Ford Granada. Oh, uh, you had a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a Ford. That was my first car. Oh, okay. But then I had Camaros. Because I could never afford a Corvette, but I've had multiple Camaros and a Firebird. So I've always been Chevy. Yeah. Most, mostly Chevy. And my grandma, my sister and my grandma, she was always a Ford. So we always had a little tiff with her, too. So <laughs> I was used to it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I, I think I may have, we talked about this. I, I don't remember this exactly, but you used to work at Pizza Hut. Yeah. A yeah. long time ago. <laughs> and I think, I think that's maybe where I first met you, because we used to go to Pizza Hut and Pert Machine all the time. And I think that's where, you know, I first, I, once you said you worked there, I'm like, oh, yeah, Tammy worked Could there forever. There. I did. I yeah. was there. You were like the, the best. I was uh, trying to think of what I drove there. then. Yeah. Because I had a 70 and a half Camaro. I had a 400 small block. That was one of my favorite Ooh. first Camaros to oh. drive. Okay, was it a manual transmission or was it automatic? No, it was automatic. That was the only bad thing about uh, it. Well, that's but a it was cool fun. Car. That's a pretty cool car. But it was car. fun. Okay. All right. So then uh, uh, you, when did you guys get married? You and Scott? 1999. But we've been together since 84. So, so it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> so Scott, Scott's kind of a diehard Chevy guy, too. Right? Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mom had a Camaro, too. I mean, she had, Mom had both Fords and Chevy, so it wasn't yeah. really, I mean, and Scott worked at a, my husband worked at a Chevy dealership in Prairie, so that, you know, might have helped me, too, yeah. along to, mm -hmm. to choose, because yeah. we had access to Chevy yeah. Camaros. Yeah, he worked right at the competitor, but that's before we really even knew each other. So. Yeah. So I give him... And uh, Hip, Fred Hip. Yeah, he Fred was, a, was a great... He, he, old he, fella. He yeah. was a good guy. Yeah, we miss Fred. Fred yeah. actually came here and worked for worked yes, with us did. for a little while. That was that was awesome, right? The yeah, end of he was a career. nice guy. He's, yeah, one in a million. He's a peach of a guy. So, all right. Any other car memories that you can think about that uh, uh, really you want to share with, with everybody? I just had, I mean, I just had a lot of different cars. I've had like an 82 Z28 Camaro. I've had a 92 RS Camaro, which was white. And it had red interior, which you don't see red. Yeah. And it had T-tops too, which was fun. You could just pop them out, a couple of lovers, pop them out, put them in the trunk. Yeah. I mean, it was just, I always had, I always like sports cars. They're fun to drive and you look good in them. And when you're younger, I mean, <laughs> you look good anyway, that's what we always did is we, we cruised around. We didn't, you know, yeah. it was different back then. Right. We used to do a lot of cruising around. Now you'd get it for loitering, you know, where we used to hang out at like the bank in Prairie du Chien. But yeah, it was just cars have always been an important part of my life. So you have a Camaro now, you also have an Impala, right? Yeah. I have an older people's car, and I'm ready to have something that drives really nice, it's quiet, so I drive an Impala. Yeah. Yeah, nice car. But we still have a 95 Z28 Camaro at home with a six-speed. It's, it's fun to drive. Yeah. Because you don't get manuals anymore either. All right, but. so what's, what is your favorite kind of music? <laughs> Well, it's rock. Okay, and what's your favorite band? But I listen to pop. I listen to a variety, variety okay. of music. Okay, if you're, oh. what, what kind of music do you like listening to when you're cruising down the road in your Camaro? Then, I like the rock, like Def Leppard, because that's what I grew okay. up with. Okay, is that is that your favorite band, Def Leppard? Well, it used to be. Yeah. yeah. And what's your favorite song? You know, I, I like the well. I like the first album, the first album more the, the like Death rock Leopard. of ages and photographed yeah. more more rock rock. So, yeah. So oh, that's that's. Cool. But I listen to I listen to a variety. I even listen to Pink. You know that's pop. Yeah. Okay. Rock. I'm, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw you in a, a couple other <laughs> curveball questions here. Um, what's your favorite food? Well. It used to be grandma's homemade noodles <laughs> yeah. with chicken, chicken and homemade noodles. Yeah. That used to be my favorite. I have a picture of me holding a bowl of grandma's chicken and noodles. Tina would know yeah. about that because that was one of her favorites too, banana cream pie. Banana cream pie. Can't yeah, my that. grandma yeah. made really good food. Okay. What's your favorite vacation spot? Las Vegas. 
Because <laughs> I like the lights and I like the people are really interesting. I'm a people watcher. And there's so much entertainment out there to do. There's just so much to do out there. And I don't even gamble. I pay, I put 20 bucks in like the whole four day weekend and that's it. <laughs> but I just, there's so much. I don't know, I just enjoy. Yeah. Times have changed now, so but it used to be my favorite. I just want to thank him for allowing me to sit and drive this beautiful car. It's just been an amazing experience for me. Something that I'll treasure forever. So I do really want to thank you for yeah, everything so that we, you've done for me and we, for our family. We thank you and we, we love you very much. And love you, too. you know, always uh, uh, at the end of Scars and Cars, we say a quick prayer. So hope you're, you're good with that. I am. Uh, we just ask dear Heavenly Father that you watch over all those who are sick or injured. And please bless our Aunt Tammy. Uh, mm -hmm. We love her very much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh -huh.